Hello guys! Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Denmark Aranas, a postgraduate intern and a future medical doctor in the Philippines. For today, I'll be uh, showing to you the physical examination of adult from head to toe. If you haven't watched my previous video regarding the lecture about it, please do that first before going through this, okay? Uh, for today, I have a special guest, my very own father. Hello guys, everybody, hello. Okay, so for our uh, physical examination, we have to do these preliminary steps. First, you have to check for complete paraphernalia as I have here. And uh, of course, you have to appear decent. So you have to wear your white coat, okay? And then we should always start the physical examination by washing our hands, okay? So we have to do it. 20 seconds, okay? We're gonna use a uh, bar soap to wash our hands and then thoroughly wash it like so. Uh, this will prevent any spread of infection because as an important concept in PE, we have to always follow the standard precaution in order to provide safety to us doctors and also to our patients, okay? After washing with the bar soap, we will sanitize with alcohol. There. Now, we're ready to start the head-to-toe PE. Hi, sir. Hello, uh, Doc. May I know your name? I'm Dennis Aranas, Doc. Okay. Uh, do you know the date today? Uh, today is May 31, 2020. Okay. Do you know where you are right now? Uh, actually, I'm here in Baguio City, Philippines. Okay. Very good. Let's now take your anthropometric measurements. Please go to this height measurement. Wait, Doc. Stand behind the wall. Uh, with your buttocks, shoulder, and head touching the wall, and then look straight ahead. Okay. So the patient's height is 71, uh, 171 centimeters. Now, uh, please, uh, let's get your weight by standing on the wing. So, yeah. so the patient's weight is. Um, uh, 65 kilograms. Okay, so we will have to compute the BMI. Okay, and then you can now go down, sir. Okay. And sit here again. Thank you. Uh, before we do that, uh, let's check for your weight so waist okay. circumference. Okay, uh, please hold this one, sir. So the patient's waist circumference is 37. So the patient is within the normal value for waist circumference. After getting the anthropometric measurements, you can now sit down, sir. Thank you. Uh, we now get the vital signs. Sir, uh, did you drink any coffee in, in the last 30 minutes? I don't drink any coffee. Okay. Did you engage in any exercise? Uh, no. Uh, did you smoke before I never smoked. Okay, very good. You can now take your BP. I'll just raise this, sir. Uh, I'm gonna take your systolic pressure until pulse extinction. So pulse extinction is at 100 30 mmHg. I'll be adding 20 mmHg. Then deflate it at a rate of 2 mmHg per second. So the patient's blood pressure is 110 over 70, which is normal tension. Now get your temperature, sir. Sir. And then I'll just in 
insert this in your index finger. Okay. So the patient's uh, oxygen saturation is 98, which is also within the normal value. Sir, may I palpate your pulse? We'll be doing a full minute count for the pulse rate, and then after that, uh, a full minute again for the RR. So let's say we already had the full minute. The patient's pulse rate is 65, which is within the normal range, and the patient's uh, respiratory rate is 15. Okay. Sir? Uh, that is also normal. As for the temperature, the patient's temperature is 36.5, which is also normal. After the vital signs, we go to check the skin. The patient's skin eh, has no scars, no lesion, and I'll just be touching your skin, sir. The skin is moist. Could you just check this one, sir? So... The patient has a good skin turgor. Check your capillary refill. Okay. The capillary refill time is less than 2 seconds. Okay. <clears throat> Sir, do you feel any pain in your joints? No, I don't feel any pain. How about here, sir? Uh, no. Also. None? Okay. None here? No. Okay. Could you raise your arm? Uh, the left one, sir. And then the right. Okay. Let's test your motor function, sir. Do this. Uh, I'll be pushing your arm, so please resist. Okay. I'll be pulling. Okay. Okay. I'll put it down. I'll raise your arm, sir. Against my force. Okay. Against my force, sir. Fight. Okay. Now, sir, I would like you to close your eyes and then point where you will feel the light touch. Okay. 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 So the patient's uh, motor and sensory function are intact. Let's now check for the uh, biceps reflex. relax your arm sir let me carry the weight okay. so the patient uh, is normal reflexic uh, now I'm gonna inspect the head the head of the patient has a even hair distribution and there are no signs of alopecia and no infestations as well now sir I'm gonna Palpate your head, tell me if you, if you will feel any pain. Okay. Is there any pain, sir? Uh, no, I don't feel any pain. Okay, sir. <clears throat> now, sir, I would like you to uh, close your eyes again. Tell me where you... Tell me if you feel the light touch. Yes. Yes. Yes, I feel. Yes. Okay. Now, sir, I want you to clench your teeth. Okay. 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 Just waiting, sir. Now, sir, look at my finger here. Okay. Okay. Other side, sir. Okay. So, the patient has an intact cranial nerve 5 and <clears throat> um, the sensory motor and the corneal reflex are all intact. Next, I'll be inspecting the eyebrows. The patient's eyebrows are symmetrical and aligned. 
Sir, could you look up, please? Thank you. Patient has a pinkish palpebral conjunctiva, anicteric sclera. Pampa has no discharge. Now, sir, I would like you to read the uh, numbers in the smallest print here so that we can check your visual acuity. I want you to cover your uh, right eye first. Cover your right eye, sir. Four, five, eight, two. Okay. The other side, sir. Three, four, five, eight, two. Okay. So the patient's visual acuity is uh, twenty twenty uh, minus two. Okay. Now, sir, I would like you to look into my eyes directly. And then I'll be placing my uh, fingers behind your ear and then focus on my eyes, sir. And then uh, tell me when you see my fingers. I see your finger. Okay. Tell me now where it moves. Right. Uh, your left side. Yeah. Your right side. Okay. Do you see it now? Yes, your right side. Okay. Your left side. Patient has a normal visual field. Now let's check your pupillary reflex. Um, look into my shoulder, sir, and okay. straight ahead. Straight look, sir. Okay. Now, sir, focus on the tip of this pen light. And then follow the tip of the pen light, but do not move your head. Okay? Okay. So the patient uh, has a <clears throat> pupillary reflex reactive to light and accommodation. Now we do the ophthalmic exam and we usually do this in a dim light. Okay sir, uh, focus on my shoulder and then look straight ahead. So the findings are the findings are <clears throat> positive uh, red orange reflex for the both eyes and intact retinal vessels. Uh, the patient also exhibited an intact cranial nerves three, four, and six. Okay. Now, let's inspect the nose. The patient's external nose has no scars, no lesions. I will check the internal nose. Okay. Uh, please look up, sir. Read your head slightly. So the nasal septum is at the midline, and the inferior and middle turbinates are not inflamed, and there were no discharges as well. And now, sir, I would like you to close your eyes again and cover one of your nostrils. Tell me uh, what you smell. Coffee? 
uh, cover your other nostrils, sir. What is this now? It smells toothpaste. Okay. So the patient has an intact cranial nerve uh, number one. Now, sir, uh, I would like you to I would like to inspect your external ear. So the external ear, ears, both uh, ears are has no scars, no lesion. Okay. So let's now inspect the inside. Okay, sir, tilt your head sideways and just pull up and backwards. Okay. <clears throat> so the patient's tympanic membrane for both ears are non-perforated and there were no impacted cerumen. Now sir, I would like you to occlude one of your ears. And then I would whisper a number and I would like you to tell me what number is that. One. One. Okay, okay now and then in your other ear. Four. Okay, very good. So the patient has an intact cranial nerve number eight. Now I'll be inspecting the patient's lips. The patient's lips are moist has no, and has no cracks, no ulcers. Now sir, please open your mouth. So the patient has a pinkish or a mucosa with no uh, ulcerations. Uh, please stick out your tongue sir. Say ah. Ah. So the patient has uh, um, uvula at the midline and moves with phonation and intracranial nerves 9 and 10. And the tonsils are not uh, inflamed and there were no exudates. Now stick up your tongue again, sir. Okay. And then move it side to side. So the patient has an intact cranial nerve uh, number 12. Now sir, I want you to uh, fight the resistance that I will apply on your face. Okay. Fight sir. Okay. Here. Okay. Uh, could you just shrug your shoulders sir against my resistance? Okay. So the patient has an intracranial nerve number uh, 11. Now I'll be inspecting the neck. So the patient's neck has no scars, no lesions. The trachea is at the midline. I would like to palpate the lymph nodes. Starting with the pre-auricular, tell me sir if it's painful. No, no it's not. Okay, post-auricular. Mm -hmm. Tonsillar? Okay. Submandibular? Yeah, no pain. Submental? Not, no pain. Superficial? No pain. Deep? No. And supraclavicular? No. Okay. So the lymph nodes are non palpable and non tender. I would like to palpate for the thyroid gland. Okay. Sir, could you swallow for me? Okay. So the thyroid gland. Uh, not enlarged and moves with the glutation. Is there any pain, sir? No. no. Okay. Uh, now, we'll be proceeding to the inspection of the posterior thorax. Uh, I will ask you, sir, to take off your uh, shirt so that we could expose your posterior thorax. And please uh, face the curtain.
So upon inspection, the posterior thorax has no scars, no lesions. Okay. Now, tell me, sir, if you feel any pain. No, no pain. Okay. So the spine is at the midline. Uh, now, sir, I would like you to breathe in, breathe out. Okay. So the patient has a symmetrical chest wall ex ex expansion. Uh, tell me, sir, uh, you have to say 99, sir, when you when I touch your back with my hands. 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay. So there's an equal. A tactile premitus. Next, I'll be percussing. So the patients are lungs uh, are resonant. Now, sir, uh, please put your arms crossed in front of your chest and breathe in uh, through your nose and then breathe out using your mouth. So the patient has a normal vesicular breath sounds. Now, sir, tell me if uh, this is painful. No. How about this, sir? No. Okay. So there is no costovertebral angle tenderness. Now, sir, could you please face front? So upon inspection, the patient's anterior chest has no scars, no lesion. However, there is slight hyperpigmentation. Okay. Sir, I would like you to breathe in, breathe out. Okay. So the patient has symmetrical chest wall expansion. Now, say 99 again when I touch your chest. 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay. So, the patient has an equal tactile primitus. Again. I'll be doing percussion. So the patient's uh, lungs are resonant. Now, sir, breathe in with your uh, nose and then breathe out again uh, with your mouth okay. when I touch you with my stethoscope.
again, the patient has normal breath sounds. <clears throat> uh, now, sir, we'll be in checking your heart. So please uh, lie down in the bed. Sir, please face the left side. Okay. I'll be looking for the sternal angle between the manubrium and the sternum. So the jugular venous pressure is 2 cm from the sternal angle and 7 cm from the right atrium. Now I'll be uh, locating the point of maximal impulse using the Z pattern like this. 1, 2, then 3. And then feel for the pulsation. Make it shine an oblique light and then localize the point of maximal impulse. The point of maximal impulse is at the uh, left midclavicular line, 5th ICS, while the right ventricular impulse is at the 3rd, 4th, and 5th ICS. And there were no hips, no trios palpated. second ICS, right, for the aortic, and then left ICS for pulmonic, then tricuspid, then mitral. Then I'll be using the bell. So the patient has uh, normal heart sounds with the S1 louder at the apex and S2 louder at the base. Okay. Sir, could you see it? Okay. 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 Lie down again, sir. Uh, sir, could you please flex your knees, okay, your arms at the sides, okay. okay. So upon inspection of the abdomen, the patient's abdomen is flabby with a surgical lesion uh, from appendectomy. Now listen on one quadrant. The patient has a normal active vowel sound. Now I'll be percussing. Okay, so the abdomen is tympanitic. Now I'll be per percussing for the liver span. Starting from below the umbilicus, going up. Until the dullness, okay, here, and then from the left midclavicular line, resonant to dullness, okay, here. So the patient's liver span is uh, six centimeters uh, left uh, mid uh, clavicular line. right mid clavicular line and then I'll be percussing the spleen from lateral side so there is no splenic dullness now I'll be doing palpation first I'll be doing the light sir so tell me if uh, there's any pain 
Here? No. No. You see? Here? No. Here? No. You see? Now I'll be doing the deep palpation using both of my hands. Here, sir. No. Here? No. Here? No. Here? No. Okay. So, the abdomen uh, is non tender. Now I'll be palpating the liver edge using the hooking technique. Now, sir, please breathe in. So the liver edge is regular. There are no, uh, it is smooth. And is there any pain, sir? No. There's no tenderness. And then I'll be palpating the spleen, spleen tip. So the spleen tip is not palpable. So it indicates that there is no hepatosplenomegaly. Now, sir, please uh, relax your leg and straighten it. I'll be uh, palpating for the femoral pulse in your inguinal lymph nodes. Is there any pain here, sir? No. Okay. I'll be palpating the popliteal pulse. Okay. okay. Dorsalis pedis pulse. The posterior tibialis. Okay. All of the pulses are regular and non bounding. And upon inspection of the lower extremities, um, there is no uh, scars or lesions on both extremities. And I'll be testing for pitting edema by pressing on the shin. So, there is no pitting edema. Now, sir, you could get up and wear your shirt. Okay. Uh, sir, could you please sit here? All right. Sir, do you feel any pain in your joint? No. Okay. No. Here? No. How about here, sir? No. Okay. <clears throat> Could you extend your knee? Okay. Very good. Could you rotate your foot? And the other one? Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, there's no uh, deform. Okay, sir, relax. There's no. There are no deformities and. There is no tenderness uh, in the joints of the lower extremities. Uh, now, sir, um, there is also no limitation in the range of motion. Could you raise your knee? Okay, fight against the force. I'm applying. Okay, other one, sir. Okay. Push my hand, sir. Okay. Pull. Okay. Push my hands. Okay. So, now sir, I would like to test your sensation. Please close your eyes. Okay. Tell me where you feel the light touch by pointing where. Okay. 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 So, the patient's motor and sensory uh, of the lower extremities are intact. Now we'll be testing for the patellar reflex. Relax, sir. Okay. So the patient is uh, normal reflexive. Um, now, sir, I would like you to stand here. Okay. And then walk there, towards there, normally. Okay. And then come back here. Uh, 
using your toes on a straight line, in a straight line. And then go back there with your heels on a straight line. And then sit here again, sir. Um, put your index finger uh, on your nose and then reach my index finger uh, with your index finger okay. and then put it back again on your nose and then we'll be doing this repeatedly here sir, reach your index finger okay. and then I would like you to do the rapid alternating movements of the palms up and down, up, down, up, down be faster sir other, other hand. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, so the patient's gait is normal. And there were no uh, varicosities noted on the uh, legs of the patient. And the patient has an intact uh, cerebellar function. Okay. That would be, uh, that ends our physical examination. Uh, thank you very much, sir, oh. for participating. Thank you, Doc. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Doc. Okay. And that ends our demonstration for the head-to-toe PE of an adult. Uh, I would like to uh, introduce to you the uh, people who are uh, responsible for the success of this demonstration. Of course, my ever-supportive support family members. My dad. Hello, everybody. Denise Aranas. Hello. And my very beautiful mother. Angel Aranas, hello. who set this all up together with my dad. And of course, my camera girl, Denise Aranas. Okay. So here, okay. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, watching this video. I hope you will be able to get a high score in your GRD. Okay. Thank you so much. That ends our presentation.